Question number 16, three equal charges, 2.0 into 10 power minus six coulomb each are held fixed at the three corners of an equilateral triangle of side five centimeter. Find the coulomb force experienced by one of the charges due to the other two. Now, suppose we try to find out the force on this charge lying at point C and uh, other two charges are here at point A and at point B and each charge being 2 into 10 power minus 6 coulomb and this separation is 5 centimeter this is 5 centimeter this is 5 centimeter so obviously the magnitude of f1 and f2 will be same so let's call them as f1 equal to f2 equal to f and we evaluate so it will be 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 2 into 10 power minus 6 whole square divided by separation is 0 0.05 square. So this will come out to be 14400 into 10 to the power minus 3 or the same will be 14.4 Newton. So we have got F1 and F2 and the angle between them is 60 degree. So we can find the resultant of the two forces. We know that resultant of two vectors is given by A square plus B square plus twice of A, B cos theta. Here both vectors are equal means F1 and F2 are equal. So we can write them F square plus F square plus 2F F times cos 60 degree and cos 60 degree is 1 by 2. So we will get F square plus F square plus F square that is F under root 3 and we have got the value of F as 14.4. So total force will be 14.4 into root 3 and uh, this can be evaluated so by putting the value of root 3 as 1.732, so it will become 24.9 Newton and its direction will be like this, which is perpendicular to the direction of the, this or perpendicular to the line joining the two charges A and B. Or here we can say this angle will be 30 degree. So this will be direction of the resultant force. Now, next question. Four equal charges, 2 into 10 power minus 6 coulomb, each are fixed at the four corners of a square of side 5 centimeter. Find the coulomb force experienced by one of the charges due to rest 3. Here, let's find out the force on this charge due to these three charges at BCD. So, all three charges are equal. So let's find out F1 and F2. Here F1 and F2 will be equal because this distance and this distance same. So let's find out F1. Its magnitude will be equal to F2. So it will be 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 2 into 10 power minus 6 square divided by separation is 0 0.05 square. So if we evaluate it, it will be equal to 14.4 Newton. Now, we have to find out F3. So this distance will be 5 root 2 centimeter. So let's evaluate it also. So F3 will be equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 2 into 10 power minus 6 whole square divided by 5 root 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square. So this will be equal to just half of it. That is 7.2 Newton. Now, what we can do, these two for this force and this force both are equal and they are inclined at 40. The resultant will be at 45 degree. It means the resultant of F1 and F2 
will be in the direction of F3. So suppose we find FR, which will be resultant of F1 and F2. So the resultant of F1 and F2, that is FR will be, since this angle is 90 degree, so it will be F root two because F1 and F2 both are same. So this is F. So F root two, that is 14.4 into 1.414. So this will be 20.36 Newton. And F3 is also in the same direction. So net force, F net will be F3 plus FR. So 20.36 plus 7.2. So that will be equal to 27 point here two around five Newton. Now let's go to next question. In a hydrogen atom in ground state separation between nucleus containing one proton and one electron revolving in the circle of radius 0.53 angstrom. So here the question says, suppose proton is here and electron is here and this separation is 0 0.53 angstrom and we know that one angstrom equal to 10 power minus 10 meter. So here, question says, find the magnitude of the electric force between proton and electron. So let's find out the force. So F equal to, by using Coulomb's law, so nine into 10 to the power nine into Q1, Q2. Both charges will be same, 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. Charge on proton and charge on electron is same, 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 divided by separation square. So 0 0.53 angstrom, that is 0 0.53 into 10 to the power minus 10 squared. So we simplify it. So it will be 9 into 1.6 into 1.6 divided by 0 0.53 into 0 0.53 into 10 to the power. This is 9 minus 38 and plus 20 from here. So this will become 82.02 into 10 to the power minus 9, which will be equal to 8.2 into 10 to the power minus 8. Newton. Now, let's go to the next question. Find the speed of electron in the ground state of hydrogen if separation between proton and electron is this much. From the previous question, we have seen that proton is here, electron is here, and the separation is 0 0.53 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter. We have to find out the speed of electron V. So we know that force of attraction, F electrostatic, must be equal to centripetal force, mv square upon r. So we can say that v square equal to Fe into r divided by m. And we have found the value of electrostatic force in previous question. So we can put that value, let's see. This is the value of electrostatic force between proton and electron. So 8.2 into 10 power minus 8. So we can say V square equal to 8.2 into 10 to the power minus 8 into separation. It is 0 0.53 into 10 to the power minus 10 divided by mass of electron and that is 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 kg. So here, 8.2 into 0 0.53 divided by 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 8 minus 10 plus 31. So this will be equal to 
जीरो पॉइंट फोर सेवन सेवन वन इंटू टेन टू दावर थर्टीन और वी कैन शिफ्ट वन प्लेस डेसिमल टूवर्ड्स राइट सो फोर पॉइंट सेवन सेवन वन इंटू टेन टू दावर ट्वेल्व This is v square. Now we can find v by taking square root of this number, four point seven seven one into ten to the power six. So if we evaluate, we will get it around two point one eight into ten to the power six meter per second. Which is our answer. Thank you for watching.